buttons are designed to work as simple inputs. You just click on it and something happens. Same way with uh, node blocks, for instance. They are designed to be simple outputs. They get powered and they produce sound. So if I click on this button, you can see the particles and you can hear the sounds. Yeah, you can produce sound. Uh, I have two examples of those. Uh, except at some point in the game, uh, with a simple combination like this, using just a node block, a node server, and a lamp, uh, this like node blocks could be turned into outputs as well. So I can click directly on a node block, and the lamp will turn on in response. So my question is, can simple things like this work uh, as both inputs and outputs uh, even in a situation like this, because if you have your OB server, you have to hide it somewhere, right? And for instance, in here, if I have an OB server right underneath one of those node blocks, uh, it would be impossible for anything to power the node blocks, if you know anything about Redstone, right? So, but as you can see here, well, this works. Let me place a lamp in here so that you can see that the lamp blinks every time I... Uh, I press the button, so probably there's a torch underneath there. But the thing is, if I click directly on the note block, the lamp also blinks. Uh, of course, you can hear there, there's a piston underneath there. They're doing some weird business in there. Let's try to do the same thing in here. If I now click on the note block, the difference is it stays on. And if I click on it again, it stays off. So I could use a bunch of those side by side, for, for instance, to uh, to uh, do a password, and if the password is correct, in the end, a signal would just turn off all of the lamps for me. This would be a kind of hipster uh, input. Or, for instance, I could uh, click on the note block and send a minecart far away, and once the minecart uh, gets uh, where it needs to be, it sends me a message. So, this thing blinks, it sent me, sends me a signal, and then uh, I get this. So, uh, before I show you guys the redstone for this, uh, to, to how this works, let me show you just one example of how I'm using this. So, I made some sort of whack-a-mole minigame. Uh, let me turn it on so you guys can see. It's going to be a, a little bit laggy, guys, because of the light updates. So, those things are, those lamps are going to turn on uh, randomly. And uh, you can uh, click on the lamps. Uh, if, you, if you're fast enough, <laughs> I mean, and uh, yeah, this is the idea. They turn on because they work as outputs, but they also works as they also work as inputs. Uh, you can't spam click. So if I if I keep holding this thing, it's not going to affect anything. Uh, I actually need to wait for something. Let me try to get to 60 points just because this can be a little bit addictive. I'm not sure if I'm going to release this map to you guys because the minigame is not ready, guys. Uh, in the end, I, I at least want to wanna make some system where you can bat something, you know, so uh, if you miss, you lose some credit, and if you get anything right, you get like triple credit or something. Okay, so this is how it works. Uh, you turn it off, all the lamps will uh, stop blinking, and the system will, uh, after a little cooldown, reset automatically. Well... Let me show you the redstone uh, just quickly. This is the, the the counter segments working. They're trying to reset at this time using the pistol tape. Uh, it's probably done. So it's all zeros. Uh, and uh, the section down here is the entire logic for this thing with the random number generator. Uh, the selects that, one, that only lets one of the lamps turn on at any time. Uh, and the, the output reading, if you try to, to click on anything now, it's not going to, to work. Well, you can't spam, spam click or anything. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, I tried to do a W and a M here for Wacamole. <laughs> uh, failed. Okay, guys, uh, enough for the example. Let's just go to the redstone. So here's how the system works, guys. It's really simple. You click on something and this thing will get updated lamp will blink uh, if you have a lamp in here you can press the button yeah but it will never change state so let me show you how to do the flip-flop version 
It doesn't work as a flip doesn't work as a flip flop now because uh, this thing is updating the the nodes block. By the way, you can just click on the nodes block. You don't even need <laughs> anything around it. Uh, but you need the bud because otherwise this won't have the nice behavior that I just showed you. So to make it work as a flip-flop, you just move your redstone dot to this position back here and move the piston as well accordingly. You uh, have your power source being here on this side so that now there's nothing moving on the side of this uh, node block. And finally, you can see that this is consistent. This is powered and this is off. So in order to break this, just place uh, something to redirect the, the redstone dust in here. And now if I place a button, it acts a little bit different. Uh, let me try to place the node block so that you guys can understand better what's going on in here. So yeah, I don't, I, I don't think I can use the lamp this way in now. Uh, now, but if I if I click directly on the node block, it acts as a, a T flip flop. So yeah, uh, and just to be clear, you don't uh, actually need the all the new technology in order to do that. You can use old tech to do this. I'll just demonstrate now quickly. So here's going to be your output, right? And uh, let's. Uh, let's just use a lamp this time. Okay, connect this. And finally, have your power block on this side. And then something to redirect. I'm just going to use a redstone block because it does the same. Uh, and with a button in here, you can detect the lamp. Uh, and because you have a torch, it can also uh, act as an output. All you have to do is to change uh, how this redstone uh, is getting powered. So instead of powering it permanently, just get rid of this, place a little block in here, and then you can just place buttons in there. And every time you press the button, this thing's going to turn on, and every time you press the button here. So this acts, uh, as I told you guys, output and uh, input. Of course, uh, if you want to keep it too high underneath the floor, you would have to do something like this, for instance. Yeah, and it all works, guys. Same thing for uh, for here. You just need to change uh, how this thing's going to be powered. So I'm just going to use the torch because you guys understand what I mean by this. So I just powered it. And then this becomes a uh, variable source in here. I can power this quickly. I can also power it through here. Uh, one interesting thing, I don't know if this is the case. Uh, this is interesting. If you give this a, two -tick, a quick two tick pulse, uh, you can make it act uh, as a T flip flop as well, as you can see. Yeah, or if you click in here. Yeah, yeah, but and this this thing's not going to work. Oh, it worked. Yeah, but it doesn't really, really work. You can see this is powered and this is also powered. Maybe we can use the, the flip flop functionality to fix this. <laughs> uh, actually, I might give you guys a quick, a quick uh, sneak peek on the new component that I'm working for a waka mold, which is not my goal at all, but I just found it out by accident. So let me show you. You deserve this. Okay guys, so this is going to be the, the new revolutionary component for the next Waka Mold games in Minecraft. So you can see there is a hole there. If, if whatever activates it, then we get a little mold in there. And the awesome thing is, if, if I just click on it with my hands, it goes down instantly. Yeah, it stays in there and I actually can click on it and it's going to come back again. But it's not going to be the point. I'm, I'm, I'm building a bunch of prototypes to make this work. It's it's not really easy. But yeah, this is how this is going to work. Imagine a floor full of those little machines. Uh, you go uh, running around crazy and clicking on these things and they will just disappear in front of you. Uh, pop up, back, pop back up randomly. And yeah, this is a quick sneak peek which I'm sure is good enough for you guys to like the video and comment, <laughs> which is basically keeps me motivated to do these videos. 
So thank you very much for watching, guys, and hope to see you soon, guys. Bye.